Uh, hi, everyone. I'm really happy to be there with you. Um, I think we have several uh, things in common with uh, Jose, um, because Mr. Goodfish was uh, first developing as a campaign, and we were able to maintain it at the, as a program uh, for now for six years. So I'm going to explain what is Mr. Goodfish and how we managed to uh, make it uh, last in the, in the, in the years. Uh, so we have first a small movie on Mr. Goodfish. <laughs> okay, it's no, no problem. Uh, so, um, Mr. Goodfish is a, uh, is a program uh, on sustainable seafood consumption. Uh, it has been developed by three aquariums uh, in Europe, one in France, Nozica, one in Italy, the Aquario di Genova, and one in Spain, the Aquarium Finisterrae. And the objective was to launch a campaign on sustainable seafood consumption and to use the network, the World Ocean Network, to uh, mobilize the, the aquariums to promote sustainable seafood consumption. Um, so the, why we launched Mr. Goodfish is because there is a, a fear of uh, fish uh, deplacing. Um, you have the number of uh, the stocks actually, and there are about 60% of fish that are uh, already overexploited or exploited at their maximums. So there is really a, a need to help the consumer to choose the right fish to be able to uh, have a, a new way of consuming seafood because usually the consumer eats five species, salmon, cod, um, mussels, but there are many other species and Mr. Goodfish is there to help them to choose the right fish. Um, the communication strategy of Mr. Goodfish was a bit innovative and different. Um, the first objective was to launch a huge communication campaign and it was not possible because it was really too expensive. So we tried to uh, focus on the um, place where the consumer will be the more uh, conscientious and will be aware of the message. So we tried to work uh, on Mr. Goodfish with people who were selling seafood, so at the restaurant and uh, through fishmongers. So the Mr. Goodfish campaign was launched uh, in, um, with the fishmonger and with the restaurants. And what we wanted to do also is to be positive uh, because uh, if you want to work with fishermen, with the old chain of custody, if you start to have green list, orange list and red list, it's not so easy, so we decided to um, develop a positive program and a positive concept. Uh, so the, um, the Mr. Goodfish concept is choosing the right fish is good for the sea and good for you. Um, the um, Mr. Goodfish is really simple. Uh, every three months we have a scientific committee which met. Uh, this scientific committee are um, composed by all the people from the chain of custody. So you have uh, scientists like Yves Remer uh, in France. Uh, you also have fishermen, you have restaurants, you have fishmongers, you have association of consumers, world sellers. So you have the representative of each um, um, link of the, of the chain of custody. And every three months, you look at the fish stocks the size of the fish and the season of the fish to be able to uh, have a list of recommendations to promote to, to the consumer. So the uh, criteria are really simple. Mr. Goodfish is a fish that, uh, which comes from uh, healthy stocks, which has been caught at the right size and at the right season, which is outside the reproduction period. Uh, we have also been working on aquaculture species because Mr. Goodfish is focuses on wild species, but now this year we are working on aquaculture. 
because there is some uh, fear from the consumer, um, especially in France, we had some TV show uh, concerning the salmons, and there is a need to help the consumer to choose uh, fish, and the aquaculture can be a solution, so we are developing criteria on aquacultures. And this is an example of uh, what is Mr. Good Fish. So every three months, you have this list of fish that you can eat. They are sustainable, and this is the right season to consume them. So you can find it on the website. There is some tools we have developed to help the consumer to, to, <coughs> to find the species. Uh, so Mr. Goodfish today, so Mr. Goodfish is not only a campaign, now it's a huge program in Europe. So we have more than 1,000 partners uh, in France, Italy, and Spain, and it's partner from every field uh, of, uh, of fisheries. So you have fishermen, you have fish retailers, fish processors, you have restaurants, you have canteens, you have uh, catering, and all of them are trying to help the consumer to have a better conception. And we are also working with supermarkets because we know that, for example, in France, 80% of uh, the, the fish that are bought are made in supermarkets, so it's really yeah, and we need to work with the supermarkets. And we have developed some tools to help the, the professional to communicate to the clients. So we've developed the poster, we have some door stickers, we have the leaflets, we have uh, educational material for the kids, like uh, educational booklets, uh, we have some uh, whiteboard, we have created the tools specific to all uh, fields of professionals to be sure that the restaurant have the right tools to help to communicate to the consumer. So for example, a restaurant which has joined Mr. Goodfish uh, put on, their men on his menu uh, the Mr. Goodfish logo when the species is recommended by Mr. Goodfish. So it's really easy, the consumer don't need to uh, add the list of Mr. Goodfish and to, have the, to, to be sure that the fish has the right size. He can trust the restaurant and the chef and the, the logo is on the right species. And it's the same for fishmongers where we have developed some uh, 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 price picks to put them on the stalls. And we also are trying to communicate directly to the general public inside exhibition, like uh, in the aquariums. So this is an example of exhibition we have in Nausicaa, in the Aquarium de Genova and the Aquarium Finisterre. Uh, we have developed some uh, educational activity, like testing sessions for the people inside the aquariums. Uh, we have uh, also organizing uh, educational activity inside uh, schools. So the people from the aquarium uh, go inside the schools to try to promote sustainable seafood consumption to the, to the kids. And we are also now working with other aquariums like uh, um, the Aquarium de la Porte Dorée in Paris, um, other places in France, but also uh, in other countries. Uh, we've developed uh, an alliance which is called Global Seafood Rating Alliance, and it's an alliance of all the programs uh, such as Mr. Goodfish, so you have OceanWise in Canada, you have Seafood Watch in the USA, and the objective is not to uh, duplicate Mr. Goodfish, but as the other aquarium which has developed the same um, process, we try to coordinate and to work together to uh, be able to promote species that are, come from other countries and to be sure that all together we have the right recommendation and the right tools to speak to the, the people and in the right language also. And we, as a part of the dissemination and communication, we are uh, trying to be as much present as possible in a public event. So the, the um, uh, exposition, the um, World Expo in Milan last year. So we had a, a booth where we were organizing tasting session. And I think to organize other activity like art, but tasting session is really a good way to involve the public and to be able to give them a message, a different message, because they are eating. So they are thinking, what I am eating? Where does it come from? I want to have some information. And it's really the best way for us to promote sustainable seafood consumption. And we are also working in professional events uh, like SIRA, uh, uh, which is the biggest um, event for the uh, uh, restoration um, chef and restaurants. Uh, 
uh, and we are tr trying to work with um, a food processor and food company to promote sustainable seafood and to make the promotion of unknown species uh, and to avoid the, the pressure on al always the same species. Uh, and we, the, the different aquariums are really focused also on school uh, animation. So we are organizing um, schools activity. And w one thing which, which is really working is to organize a, a, like a fishmonger activity where the, the kids are able to touch the, the fish and to discover the diversity of fish that there is in the sea. Uh, for example, in the picture, uh, we, we had about 20 different species on the star, and the kids were really um, surprised to see that there are so many different species. And after, at lunch, the, um, the chef was uh, making uh, food testing like oyster, and it's not usual in a canteen to try oyster. So it's really easy when you have a, um, an activity, a uh, um, concrete activity to help the kids to try new products after. So what is the added value of Mr. Goodfish? So really for us, what is the best thing is that it's a positive attitude. We were able to bring all together people from the entire chain of custody. So we are working with fishermen. The first partner of Mr. Goodfish was the National Committee of Fishermen. So the fishermen really understand why Mr. Goodfish can be uh, valuable for, for them because it helps them to sell unknown species and non-commercial uh, or high-value species. Uh, the second added value of Mr. Goodfish is that it's, uh, it's based at a regional level. We are working with uh, the regional committee of fishermen, with regional association of consumers, with regional uh, restaurants. So they have a link with our clients and with um, the professionals, so it's really easy to engage them. Um, we are also uh, having a strong program because we are working with uh, reliable scientific data. Uh, Ifremer is helping us uh, to create the list and we, every three months we, uh, we have the, the new committee which is uh, coming, so every three months we change the list, so it's really the best uh, new data that we could have. It's really easy to implement and to, to develop a restaurant for a fishmonger who want to join Mr. Goodfish. It's really easy. He just has to promote two or five species in his shops. Uh, it can be, Mr. Goodfish can also be an help for a uh, company like Metro or Macro uh, to promote sustainable seafood and to be engaged in a sustainable uh, uh, action. And Mr. Goodfish has also an educational dimension, and we have created educational tools through the educative part of uh, the aquariums. Yeah, so if you have any questions, uh, I think we will have time at the coffee break.